Our public schools have been taken over by the radical left maniacs. Here is my plan to save American education, restore power to American parents. Okay, so I guess he is taking this presidential run seriously because he has now realized that while things like immigration stuff got the, the GOP fired up a ton like six years ago, now it's all about parents' rights. Because after all, every school kid is perpetually surrounded by LGBTQ pedophiles or whatever, or drag shows or something. I don't know, he doesn't know, he just got the memo that you're supposed to talk about schools. And so he's got some pretty insane proposals. Uh, why don't we jump into a little bit of what he wants to have done. We will cut federal funding for any school or program pushing critical race theory, gender ideology, or other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content onto our children. We're not going to allow it to happen. Next, I will direct the Department of Justice and Education to open civil rights investigations into any school district that has engaged in race-based discrimination. That includes discrimination against Asian Americans. I what? <laughs> I mean, like literally, he, Trump is worried about discrimination against Asian. He he did the Coco Chow tweet like yes, in the did. last 24 hours. Yes, again. he did. Yes. Uh, again, the, and and by the way. This ain't about discrimination against Asians, and it's sure ain't discrimination in the form it most often comes in America. This the, the discrimination that will be investigated is: Did you say white privilege? You be gone, banished from the country. That's that's what this this is all utter nonsense. So if you you teach CRT in second grade, which is the thing that happens, or gender ideology, which is like be gay or be by I don't know. Like if you do any of those things, then he wants to cut your funding. This is all just 2023 era culture war nonsense. But it shows that Trump is going to make a significant play in this area against Ron DeSantis, who is of course the king of this sort of hatred and xenophobia. Oh, public schooling, how else can we defund you? Let me count the ways, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, the DeVos family cashes in. Just like it is endless. And as someone whose brother works in public schools, like I, I have nothing but love and respect um, for the amount of work that teachers do uh, to say nothing of the crap that they have to fend off. But yeah, here you have Trump's trying to ride this gravy train. He wants a bite of this apple. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you know, yay! Let's uh, keep going. Well, we'll just outlaw the word white. You can't say white anymore. That's coming because you can't just point out that someone is white. That in and of itself is racist, according to them. Um, I, I I I think the, the my favorite part is the like anti Asian racism because <laughs> <laughs> I guess I think Elaine Chao spoke out about Trump's what what Trump said about she her did. on Truth Social recently. So maybe he's trying to mend that because he knows that, like, you know, you can't just staff your White House with, like, you know, squirrels, which at this point are the only people. I trust him more. I would, tr honestly. Trump, okay, trust a Trump, Trump is the China virus guy. He yeah. stood in front of a crowd of people and called a disease that was killing hundreds of thousands of people Kung Flu. Yep. He's the champion that's going to end this anti Asian uh, racism. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.